Hey everyone, it's Hanny here from Cold Desi. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Cold Desi Daily. So I know some of you right now are taking this opportunity to really build your business, to become your own boss and take the next step in being a business owner in the custom apparel industry. So I wanted to take this time today to go through with you how to set up your business page on Facebook. So first step is you're on your Facebook and on the top right next to the question mark, you're going to see a down arrow. I have some pages up here, but you may not have any. These are just pages that you're an admin of. But under your pages, you're going to click see more. And that has brought us to this page that we're on now. So you see here I have our Coleman Company and our Cold Desi and our digital heat FX page. So just a brief overview. You have your profile on Facebook which is your face. That is your name and your face. I'm going to add that personality to Facebook. Then as a business, you need a business page. This is where you post hours, you post your address, your website, more information, and your profile runs your business page. So we're simply going to create just a test page today. Um, so in the top right, we will simply press create a page. So first step, Facebook makes this really easy for us. So they give us two options, a business or a brand page or a community or public figure page. This would be a page for um, the city or for someone running for office. For this, we are gonna pick a business or brand and we're gonna press get started. Now the first thing Facebook is gonna do is prompt you to type in your page name. It's very important that you type in your business name in this bar because you want it to be easy for people to find your business page. So we're gonna make up a pretend business for this. I'm just gonna call it Custom Tees. So for example, Custom Tees would be the name of my business. This is what I have on my awning. This is what my website says. My business is Custom Tees. Next is adding a category. This is gonna describe your page. Now Facebook has a lot of options for this. What you want to do is search and find what fits your business most closely. So for my custom tees, we are going to pretend that we're an embroidery business. So I'm going to see if Facebook has that as an option. And they do. They have screen printing and embroidery. So I'm going to choose that as my page category, my business category. Next is the address. This is a very important part as well because this is how people are going to find your company. If they're searching for your page on Facebook, most likely they want to come and see you. They want more information about your business. So we're just going to type in our address here. So you have to go ahead and type in an address here, but you can say don't show my address. Right here there's a box you can check. I would do this if your business is online based. Um, you would type in an address here and then click don't show your address. It will show what city and state that your business is based in. All right, now that I have my business address typed in, the next step is adding a phone number. This is optional, but I highly recommend having a contact number um, so people can reach you easily. So now after you've typed in your phone number, again, if your business is web-based and you don't want to show your address, go ahead and click this box right here below phone number. And then we are ready to continue. All right, so now Facebook has gotten the basic information about your page. And the next step is uploading a profile picture. Now this is different than the profile picture that you have uploaded for your, your Facebook profile. Your profile picture for your page should be your logo, maybe a picture of your storefront, something when people find your page, they know that this is what they're looking for. So for this, I went ahead and added the profile picture and I chose a picture of a storefront. This way, when people search for my business, they see the storefront and they say, oh, I've been there before, this is what I'm looking for. Or for instance, maybe they haven't been to your storefront location before. They find you on Facebook, they find your business page, and then when looking for your storefront to come and visit you and give you some business, they recognize the photo from your Facebook page. And the next step is to upload a cover photo. The cover photo can be whatever you really would like. It can be something that more fits your brand and your personality. It can be a saying, it can be some examples of your work. Um, for this, I'm gonna post some examples of our work for our cover photo. All right, so now your Facebook business page has been uploaded with your basic business information. 
a profile picture, and a cover photo. The next step is Facebook is going to ask if you would like to get their online bookings through Facebook. You're welcome to do this. It's just a little widget or a tool Facebook provides you, but we're going to go ahead and skip this step for now. All right. So Facebook has created our business page. Now, as you can see, it's very bare and there's a lot that needs to be added to it. But so far we have our cover photo. We have some examples of our work. We have our storefront. Now this is just a random photo, but you can add a photo of your real storefront, of course. We have our business name, which we chose as custom tees. And then we need to create a page at username. So this makes it easy when people are tagging you in Facebook to find your page. So I would recommend making your at something that's very similar to your actual business name, but just know that Facebook requires it be a unique username. So we could try our business name, but that username is invalid. That means someone already has taken that username of custom tees. So let's go ahead and try something else. We still want it to be similar to our business name, um, but we can get a little creative here. So let's say your name is Sam. Let's make it Sam's custom tees. And there we go, that works. No one else has that username on Facebook. So we're gonna go ahead and claim that as our Facebook page username. So create username. All right, and we're all set. So now this makes it easier for people to find us. Also, our Facebook page link will be slash Sam's custom tees. Okay, and now you can see Facebook has added our username right here for people to search. The next step would be to add services. Now, you don't have to add this. This is where you can say what you exactly price for certain things. So you could put in here, for example, you click services, add a service. You could put in here custom embroidery if you have one fixed price of $25. So you can put in a description of what's included in that. Um, I've seen a lot of people use the duration for things like if you're a massage business, you would put in um, the relaxation massage, the price, what's included in that, and then how long that lasts. And you can add an image. So for this, you could put custom embroidery, that's $25 flat rate, a little description of, you know, how big that custom embroidery is. Maybe it's a name um, and you can skip this. You can skip duration by just clicking this switch right here and it'll turn that off. And then you can add an image if you'd like. So maybe an image of a custom embroidery work that you've done. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and not do that. It's totally okay to not have all that filled out. I know with custom apparel, um, prices can always change, so we're gonna just press cancel on that for now. But I just wanted to show you guys what that portion of your page looks like. The next on your left panel would be reviews. Now you're not gonna have any starting out, but I highly recommend getting your customers to share reviews and share feedback. So maybe when they come and pick up their orders or when they place an order with you, prompt them to add a review on your Facebook page. You, you can even do things like a discount. So for instance, I've seen a lot of businesses say, if you leave us a review, your next order will be 10% off. Something like that, just some incentive for people to leave reviews because it does give you a lot of credit when people find your business page to see that you have great reviews. All right, now we're gonna press see more on this left panel and just see what different options Facebook gives you to customize your page. So you have your photos here. This is where you would upload photos of your business, your staff, your work, you have videos, your posts, events, your business page can make events. So say you're running a sale, you're doing a summer sale on June 10th, all in-store purchases are 40% off. You can make an event for that and that will be run by your business page. Next is your about. So this is where customers will see your address. As you can see here, they have your phone number. They can send you a message here. They can even get directions right from Facebook. It has your category in it. And this is where you really want to beef up your business page. In your about section, you want to add all of this. You want to add business details. You want to enter a contact email. You definitely want to enter your website. This is super important. So in your about section is really where you're going to tell your story. Tell people about your business. 
Say when you opened, say what you offer, say what you can give them, what you can provide them. You can add another photo here. So I, what I've seen a lot of people do in this little story panel is they've made it very personal, maybe a, a picture of their staff, and then just a story telling people about their business. The next section are the team members. Now you definitely wanna add yourself as a team member. This way your profile is gonna pop up as being a part of this page. They know that you're the owner. Um, and so what it says is when you add yourself as a team member, this page is gonna appear on your profile and your name and profile picture will be shown on this page. All right, now before we move on, I do wanna say this about section is very important not only for customers looking at your page, but it's also really important for SEO purposes. But I know it can be very tough. So I did want to point you in the right direction. There is a custom apparel startups podcast. I have it right here. Episode 113, Writing That Sells. And Mark and Mark are going to go through with you guys how to write a really great about section on Facebook. So that is there for you guys. So moving on, the next step I wanna take is adding a button to your business page. Now you can do a couple things with your button. Basically what it is, is to get people to take an action from your page. This can be shop now, it can be sign up, it can be learn more, it could be message us, um, but we're gonna go ahead and go through this process so you can see what it's like. I would suggest if you have an online based business for this to be a shop now button and directly link people to shop. Um, but if you're more in stores, maybe it's message us now or sign up for our email list. So here it is. After we've clicked add button, we're now at a setup page by Facebook. So step one, which button do you want people to see? Book with you. So this would be more for appointment based businesses. Contact you learn more about your business, shop with you, or download your app or play your game. So most likely yours is either gonna be shop with you if you have web-based selling, learn more about your business, or to contact you. We're gonna go ahead and click shop with you. Now they have two options. Facebook gives you two options here. It can, the words on your button can be shop now or see offers. And it's showing you right at the top right here where it says add page button, what that's gonna look like. So shop now or see offers. And I'll show you these other options too, just so you can see what they look like. Contact you, so it can say contact us, send message, call now, send an email, learn more about your business, can be learn more or watch a video. Um, but back with the shop with you, we're gonna, we're gonna select shop now. All right, so next step is we are gonna link our website. Now, Facebook does give you the option now to sell on Facebook, so you can have a shop section on your page. But we're gonna do this the more traditional way. We're gonna send people to our website link. So we've clicked website link, and now it's prompting us to add the website link. So again, this is a made up business that I just came up with, so we are just gonna use our coldesidaily.com website as the website for this. And I am going to save that here. All right, and now our button has now our button has been set. It says shop now and it will link people to the website that we have chosen. All right, there we go. So for the most part, your business page is now set up and ready to go. You can start sending people here. You can start adding posts, adding photos. And the most important step that's gonna happen next for your Facebook business page is you're gonna wanna invite your friends to follow your page. Invite your friends, invite your customers, invite everyone to follow this page. So the different ways you can do this is by in simply inviting your friends right on the right here. It has some of my friends here that I can invite to like my page, or I can share it to my profile. And by sharing it, it's gonna get exposure and my friends are gonna see it and hopefully like my business page and show me some support. So thanks for watching today's Cold Desi Daily episode about building your business Facebook page. This is a very important first step in starting your custom apparel business or your small business. I hope you learned something and I look forward to seeing your business Facebook page pop up in the future. Talk to you guys next time.